you see the mountain sparkling? It's all the shiny snow on top. Oh, yes, they are shiny. But I can't put a mountain in my nest. It's far too big. <laughs> of course. They are pretty, though. Oh, what was that? <gasps> it's the sun on that icicle. Oh, it's lovely and shiny. Maybe I could put that in my nest. Oh, it's all wet. Yes, icicles are made of ice, Molly. And ice melts and turns into water when it gets warm. My nest is warm. It might be shiny, but an icicle is no good. My chicks will get wet as it melts. Oh, what am I to do, Squiglet? Everything here is shiny, but only because it's icy. Maybe we need to look somewhere else. I could look everywhere if I'd brought my binoculars. They help you to see things that are really far away. No problem. We can squiggle some binoculars for you. Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Let's get squiggling. We can use our zigzag line for the middle part of the binoculars. Ready? Zig, zag, zig, zag. Then the same underneath. We need to squiggle the round parts you look through. First a round line here. And another one here. Then go straight up. Curve over and back down. And do the same on the other side. I'm going to colour my binoculars blue. What colour are you going to make yours? Finished! One pair of binoculars. Oh, lovely! Thanks, everyone! Now I can see things that are far away, so I'll be able to spot shiny things for my nest. Oh, what's that? It's silver and shiny. And just the right size. Oh, it looks perfect. I wonder what Molly could see. Come on, let's find out. Look at this squiglet. Oh, yes. It's round with hands that move. And it ticks and talks. Do you know what it is? A watch. A lovely shiny watch. My little chicks will love the sound of that tick talking. It's fun when you get squiggling. Squiggling! Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Now it's time to get squiggling. Let's start with our cow's big smiley mouth. We'll need a curved line for that. Curved lines are great. Squiggle one with me. Curve down, around, and up. What's yours like? Curve down, around, and up. We need a round line for the bottom of her head. Round and round. Then one more curve line for the top of her head. She needs two eyes. One, two. And a nose. Then two little ears on top. Here and here. Let's squiggle another round line to make our cow's body. Round and round. There. Some legs and a little curved tail. Last of all, let's add some wiggly cow patterns. Wiggly wiggly, wiggly wiggly. And there's our cow. Shall we meet her? Say the magic words with me. One, two, three, four, five. Let's make our squiggles come alive.
Hello, I'm Cordelia. Hello, Cordelia. I'm Squiglet. Is everything OK? I'm a bit fed up, Squiglet. My life isn't very interesting. All I do is eat grass over and over again. Oh, dear. There must be something more exciting you can do. We'll help you. Oh, thank you. Now, where is all this grass? It's all around the barn I live in, on a farm. Well, let's start there. Shall we squiggle Cordelia's farm? Have you got your squiggle pads? And squiggle sticks ready? Let's get squiggling. We'll start with the roof of the barn. We'll need another curved line for that. Ready? Curve up, over and down again. We need some straight lines for the walls and the floor. Down, across and up. We can use a curved line for the barn door. Curve up, over and down. And to finish it off, some straight lines across, like this. One barn. Why don't you colour yours in while I squiggle the rest of Cordelia's farm? Thank <laughs> you.